Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today I have prepared two multiple choice questions for you and the first question is which of the following oligonucleotides would form the most stable double helix? Take a look. We have four bases and between bases adenine and thymine we have double hydrogen bond and between cytosine and guanine we have triple hydrogen bond. So everything we have to do just calculate how many cytosines and guanines we have in each variant here. The more this basis, the more hydrogen bonds we are going to have. In the first variant, we have triple bond here, triple bond, triple bond, double bond, double bond, double bond. So 9 plus 6 is going to be 15 hydrogen bonds. Next variant would give us double, 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 double hydrogen bonds. So total number of hydrogen bonds is going to be 12. Next variant, triple bond, triple bond, triple, triple, triple here and double hydrogen bond here would give us 17 hydrogen bonds. And next variant is double, triple, 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 double, triple. So 16 hydrogen bonds here and the last variant triple 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 and double. So we are going to have here 14 hydrogen bonds and the correct answer would be answer C. Variant C would give us most number of the hydrogen bonds and the more hydrogen bonds would be between two strands of the DNA the more stable such molecule is going to be and next question, synthesis of a new strand of DNA always occurs in which direction? And here is the variance of the answers. Take a look, let's say this is double stranded DNA and here is a replication bubble and somewhere in the middle, so somewhere here, the synthesis of the new strand of the DNA would happen and would happen on both strands of the DNA. Let's say we have here 3 prime end and 5 prime end here, then on the corresponding strand of the DNA we will have 3 prime end and 5 prime end here. And let's say here is our first primer and it's going to have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. On the other strand of the DNA we also would have primer and it's going to have 5 prime end here and 3 prime end here. And new strand of the DNA would grow continuously from 5 prime end to 3 prime end on one strand of the DNA and also on the other strand of the DNA would grow from 5 prime end to 3 prime end. It's also going to grow in the different direction but it's going to grow discontinuously in order to grow in other direction we need more primers and still on the overall uh, the growth is going to be from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. For example in this primer we are going to have still 5 prime end here, 3 prime end here and the growth is going to be in this direction. As you see still from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. And on the other strand of the DNA, in order to grow in this direction, we actually also need a primer. So let's say the primer is going to be here. And the primer also going to be if we have 3 prime and here. So primer would be 5 prime and here and 3 prime and here. And new strand of the DNA, which we call lagging strand of the DNA, would grow in this direction. So the same strand of the DNA can be leading strand of the DNA and lagging strand of the DNA just relative to the origin of replication. So let me add one more line here which would stand for the origin of replication. And as you see the correct answer is going to be answer B. So new strand of the DNA would grow from 5 prime end to 3 prime end direction. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. 
Goodbye.